was over, they thought I was finished, dawg Whole city jump behind me, now I get more racks than a tennis ball And you know ain't no looking back, the streets brought the hustle out of me I was sick of eating pot of me, ramen noodles all through the week The struggle was ugly, made something out of nothing What it do, what it do, man? It's a nation Chevy boy Man, I tell you, you know when I told y'all you know, it's, it's best to keep your priorities first, man. Keep your priorities first. Take care of your business, man. That's why my project is going to take a little bit longer, man. It's going to take a little bit longer. But, you know what I'm saying? I I, I don't feel discouraged about it or nothing. You know what I'm saying? If y'all can see, they still not through yet. But I'm getting my house painted, man. Getting my house painted. And now I'm about to get me a new garage door, man. Garage door shot, bro. I don't know if I even showed y'all. He just called me and told me he on the way. I'm glad, man. Look at God. Look at the favor, man. Look at the favor. No rain. Bro, it been raining so much around here. But no rain. Um, uh, Let me show y'all. I think I showed y'all once. But yeah, he ran two screws in it right here last time he was here. Um, See how it's bent. Somebody on my YouTube mentioned this, man, a long time ago, though about some about that bar being then look right and man you show right uh over there that junk came a loose over there i'm finna show y'all this joint came a loose like it's not even attached to this door like them two supposed to be attached these two right here so man he was saying he can uh you know what I'm saying? He can brace the door up and all that, man. But I've been in this house, I think about 18 years. If it ain't 18, it's going on 18 years. I know it's been 17 for sure. But right at 18 years, man, same door. I ain't tripping, man. I ain't even tripping. So I'm gonna get them to, uh, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get him to go and put me a new door up. And my guy still gotta finish painting. So I'm gonna get them to paint the door black once he put it up. We're gonna handle it like that, man. We're gonna handle it like that, baby. 78 Chevy boy. Keep it locked. I gotta bag the cars out. I'm gonna bag this one out. I'm gonna put Penny over there. And then I'm just gonna bag Cayenne, like right across in the front of Penny. So I think I'm gonna put my covers on too. Cause man, it'd be like some sap dripping out these trees. It'd be sap dripping out these trees, man. So I'm gonna have to put my covers back on my cars. So let's get it, man. 78 Chevy boy. All right. Yeah, man. We're going to go ahead and do a cold start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we going back, man. We going back with a door with windows. I like the windows. By my garage, being on the back, on the back of my house, on the back side of my house, man. I'd rather have uh, have the windows. If I had it in the front, I probably would. If it was in the front of my house, I probably wouldn't do windows. But yeah, let's crank up, big girl. Crank up the gangster, man. Can't crank up the gangster one. Man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, that key in the house, I got it on charge. I'll be right back. I got that key on charge, charging the remote. Up. All right, we got it. We got it.
What it do, what it do, 7 8 Shiver Boy, man. Man, I just wanted to speak to y'all on something that was just on my mind, you know. Even though I spoke about it a little bit before I pulled the cars out, man. Um, me just looking at it, you know, looking at my house, um, what I'm what I'm about to do, what I've done to my house uh, here in the last month, what I'm, what I'm steady doing. I'm just, I'm just, I'm blessed enough to be able to do it, right? I'm blessed enough to be able to do it. Um, and I want to, I want you guys to know, for the ones that's, that's regular working men like I am myself, I'm a regular, I'm a working average man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of your big YouTubers, man. I'm not a big YouTuber yet. You know, we gonna get there. We gonna get there. But uh, but yeah, I'm I'm just on a on a regular regular income, man. And I, I make it happen though. I got a beautiful, loving, supportive, uh, understanding wife that helps out a whole lot too. But my message to you all is, for the ones that's doing it, you know what I'm saying. Every you know just just regular working man. That's who that's who my channel is really geared towards, man. You know the big ballers and stuff. They probably not even pay attention to my channel. Some some probably do. Some probably do. But but overall, it's the regular man, the regular working man, family man. You know, man that got morals and principles. That's what my channel stands for. So this message is for the guys that has a project that you're working on, and you sometimes get discouraged by life. Things happen in life. But let me tell you this. As long as you taking care of your priorities, man, I, I respect you way more for that versus putting together an old school you done dumped a whole lot of money into when some things in your life, in, in your everyday life with your family or your home or your or your everyday cars uh, need attention. As y'all see, man, I try to stay on top of our everyday cars. Like right now, the, the element is in the shop getting, getting suspension work done. And, uh, and, and I hope you all take this message and, 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 and keep it, keep it in mind, man, that don't let nobody talk down on you. Don't think you, you running behind on your project, man. This car stuff going to always be there. It's going to always be there. As you all know me, know me from over the years, man, y'all know I've done this. I do my projects over time, man. The truck came a little bit quicker because it was kind of easy for the truck it was real easy for that truck for some reason i guess because everything's so plentiful and it's not expensive you know far as the uh, parts and stuff for it but but uh that turned out well quicker than i imagined but i still did it on a on a uh like i didn't i never give myself a time frame but i did it at pace i paced myself you see what i'm saying i paced myself so so uh and they came together man like now i'm not gonna rush this supercharger project man and i'm gonna tell y'all something i was talking to one of my homeboys about yesterday man i'm just gonna tell y'all this you know we keep it real we keep it 100 man i might even talk about it on my live tonight man i'm dumping a whole lot of money into that project into that into that drivetrain project and 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 part of me wants to sell it Part of me wants to sell it, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I will keep my rear end, but I will sell the motor, blower, and the and the pulley setup. I will sell it, man. Um, and just throw me a nice LS3 or something in there. I still I still do a drivetrain swap, but then you know the other part of me like, nah, keep it going, keep it going. Don't don't stop. You know, uh, you just finish when you finish. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. I honestly I honestly don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. And and uh I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know, man. We'll see though. We'll see. We'll see. Uh not saying that I can't do it or I won't ever get finished one day, but I'm just looking at it like is this what I really want to do? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. I'm going to keep it in the back of my mind. Uh, but as of right now, we're, we're full we're, we're full steam ahead on the project. I ain't going to say full steam ahead. 
Cause time I see something else wrong with my home or something, I'ma take care of that. I'ma take care of that, man. So I just wanted to tell you guys, don't give up on your projects. Don't get discouraged if you have things that come up in life, man. You got a bill here or, or, or suddenly your garage don't break or suddenly uh, something goes on in your home or, or with your family or with your everyday car. You got to get you a new car. Anything, man. Anything that, that, that might give you um, a thought to throw the towel in, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. So, with that being said, man, 78 Chevy Boy, we waiting on my man George to pull up. He's gonna pull up and, and swap the garage door out. And I got my babies over there. Put the covers on them, man, because this sap be dropping. So, I'm about to go in the house, finish editing a few more videos, and we're gonna do it like that. And after that, man, I gotta take my trailer Cause I told y'all the other day, yesterday, I changed the end on that trailer. I changed that plug and it's still showing a uh, trailer disconnected. So I called a trailer guy that's here in the city. I saw his ad on Facebook. He uh he does trailers and he said he think it's in the uh the electric uh trailer break sometime and I read it in those forms. Sometime uh the wire on the trailer break can have a uh, have a snag in it can be split disconnected or whatever it is it'll throw that signal to the uh to the truck he said a factory trucks towing package is very sensitive man he said if there's a factory package on there he said it'll pick up any little thing so man i'm gonna hook up to my when he get down this garage though man i'm gonna hook up to that trailer shoot over there and get the uh and get the uh the trailer checked out. Dude told me it shouldn't take long. That's not a, he, he know exactly what to go in and look for. So he told me to call him before I come. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him a call. Let him know I'm headed that way. I don't know how long it takes to put a garage door up, but bye. This is what uh, my man George been doing for some years, quite some time. So uh, it shouldn't take him real long. As soon as he done, man, I'm, I'm throwing both of these jump back in the garage. And man, I'm finna uh I'm finna uh shoot over there and get that taken care of, man. Try to beat beat some of that traffic. This uh evening rush hour traffic with that trailer, man. So y'all keep it locked, man. Say mate Chevy boy. Keep it locked, man. We out here. In the old gee rods. Let me pull my bike now, man. Perfect bike. Eight hundred dollars. Nothing wrong with it. I hope the tires ain't dry right. It. Been in the air. <laughs> They've been up here on this wall so long. I know ain't no air in it. God dog. Let me put some air in here, see if it gonna hold some. It let the air out them junk. Out of both of them. Yeah, let me air them junks up, man. Alright. Yeah, man. Y'all know how stuff irritates me. So Pull my bike down, oil the chain, put air in the tires. I mean, I'm gonna start back riding my bike, man. I'm gonna start back riding. Um, and I noticed, man, it's not changing gears back here at the back. It'll change, it'll drop it down to like the last four gears, but it won't go no higher. Unless I don't know if something just after being on that so long. See, man, this joint, see you, let me show y'all. So you press it like this to go to a higher gear, you know, easy gear. Then you hit the back lever. It's a back lever on here. You click that one to drop it down to a harder gear. See, it works there. See, watch this. That's eight, hold on. Yeah, that's nine, eight, seven, six. It won't go no further than six. So y'all know that's bothering me. So I got to take it. They told me that's gonna be like an hour, hour and a half, two hour job doing that door, putting that door up. So y'all know me, I'm finna use my time wisely. I'm finna use my time wisely. And man, I'm finna take my bike over here to the shop, to the bike shop where I bought it from. And they actually moved since I bought my bike. They moved all about bikes. They moved, they still off of popular but they on the other 
like about it's right around the corner really right around the corner about not even five minutes driving so man i'm finna throw my bike on here and we finna go see what's up i can't y'all know I, I just got through talking about maintenance i just finished talking about maintenance man like on the cars on your house and stuff see though i can't even have my bike sitting on the wall knowing something wrong with it man i just can't do it i can't do it man so that's my baby man my gt made by gt man i done put a lot of miles on this bike back when i was riding it i did yep so i'm gonna throw it up here and we finna get to it man keep it locked it's a nice shivy boy hold on uh, and by the time i get back they should be done if not done just about finishing up and man i can hook to my trailer put my cars up hook to my trailer bike rack that I used to ride on back of my Tahoe but uh I got a truck so it ain't going nowhere put that baby in there like that it ain't going nowhere it's a whole bike it's a whole bike hey this John got this John got hydraulic brakes too because my front one I had to squeeze it a few times, then it got back tighter. I guess from not using it. Yeah, man, that John, uh, I think I'm gonna put it this way. No, it's cool right here. It's cool right here. Uh, yeah, it's cool right here. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it got hydraulic brakes. It got brake fluid in the lines, man. And it got disc brakes. Disc brakes on the front. And on the back, on the rear. Yeah, man. That's like, I know it ain't the highest, but it sure one the cheapest. It was actually on sale for 800. It was on sale for 800, man. Keep it locked. Yeah, man, that's where they ducked off back here now, man. I was trying to see where they was. I happened to run up on it. I never been. I just knew about uh, someone telling me they moved right around the corner and what street it was on. So I see now. Uh, I see now, man. So let me grab this bike off of here. Let's see what we got, man. Look at that rack right there. What kind of rack is that? I don't know. Look dope though. Get this done out the bag and we're gonna uh, we'll holler at y'all in a minute. They got new bikes, used bikes. It don't matter, they got bikes. They got bikes. Three wheelers. Hold on, let me holler. Yeah, man, we over here all about bikes, man. Y'all see I dropped my baby off. We gotta get a we gotta get a tune up. So they're gonna call me. They about a week out, so he's gonna call me when they done, man. But they got any kind of part you need, they do bike repair. Uh, all kind of accessories, anything you need for a bike, they have it in here, man. They have it in here. Yep. Yes, sir. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit, a little bit of what they got to offer. Velotric. Bellatri, guess that's a uh, electric bike. Yep. What's the tab on this electric thing? Twenty two. Look like good twelve on it. Twenty two hundred. Got to ask him. Twelve hundred ain't bad. Thirteen hundred ain't bad. Got quite a few of them. Let's see if somebody else riding better. Yeah. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred ain't bad, man. I paid eight for that one. Five. Five, about, about seven, eight years ago. About eight years ago. This big giant here. That big wheel on him. Uh, let's see. That one fifteen hundred. That one fifteen. This one fifteen hundred right here. That big wheel on. Plenty of electric bikes, man. 
I want to do their do test rides on the electric bikes. I'm going to ask them when I go up there. But yeah, man, helmets, anything you need. This is the first and only bike shop that I ever dealt with uh, when I bought my bike. So, you know what I'm saying? They treat me right. They gave me good service. Like one time I broke my, I don't know how I did it. I, I, I messed up the fork on my bike. Well, I couldn't change it. You can lock it and then you can unlock it where it'll, uh, it'll have give in it in my, in my fork or you can lock it where it won't even move. So I can't end up coming over here, man. They straighten that out for me, ordered the part and fixed that. So uh, they've always given me good service. I don't have no problem with them, man. So I'm gonna put them out there. I asked him, can I, can I video? And he said, sure, go ahead, go ahead. So just showing y'all what y'all, uh, what they had to offer. If y'all had to come over here and holler at, uh, all about bikes. All about bikes, man. Okay, so I passed right by it. Yep, I passed right by it, seeing it from the front. But I actually came around the back. It's got a bigger parking lot in the back. So just using my common sense, that's how I ended up. I was pulling on the lot when I called them. When I called them, I was pulling up on the lot. Yep. But they got, they got plenty of bikes, bro. Plenty of bikes. I'm going to mess them up with their questioning when I go in here and watch. I don't know, man. This big sucker here ought to, ought to, ought to, ought to carry me. But ain't no need, ain't no need of me getting the electric bike if I want to get it and I'm trying to, uh, and I'm trying to, uh, lose some weight. That, that just won't make no sense. Okay, this is a large. Large, large, all these larges, all these larges are uh, 1900, you say 2000 for the largest. See, they got bike size. That's what I learned about. That's when I learned about bike sizes when I came over here too. I bought the bike that I had because I bought a bike from Walmart, man. Came over here to buy a seat. And he went outside and looked at my bike because he was going. I said, man, I'm looking for a seat for my bike. He said, you got the bike with you? I said, yeah, man, uh, it's outside on my truck. So he went out there and looked at it. He said, you like that bike? I said, it's, I said, it's cool, it's cool, whatever. So he went to looking and stuff. He pulled the bike out, the bike that I got. He said, man, take this one down, down the street and drive and ride it back. Man, I took it down the street and came back, man. I said, man, how much y'all want for that bike, man? It was a total difference. And he, he informed me and uh, schooled me on bikes a little bit. And uh, that's where I got a little knowledge from about the bike frame sizes. Don't go by the wheel size, because that's what I went on. They were telling me that it, was, it had 29 inch wheels and all that. But it was more about the frame, the comfort the comfort of the bike. Yeah, man, I need to ask some. I need to ask some. This ain't got a key and everything. This ain't got a key and everything. Yeah, where you put the key at? I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see where you put the key. I don't know. I'm gonna ask him though. How you doing, sir? What's your YouTube channel, Uh, 78 Chevy boy. 78 Chevy. Spell boy with an I. B O I. Yeah. Yeah, I got a question. Yeah. On those electric bikes right there, do they, do do they uh, are they big guy friendly? Some of them. <laughs> yeah, I see the big one you got for like. Those back tire ones. Yeah. Guys. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. But I was telling my my you my my fan my my family on YouTube. Yeah. I really don't need that man. That'll spoil me. I need I need to keep it with the pedal. You know what I'm saying? So, Manual. It, it, you still got a pedal. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. It, it has a throttle on there, but most people just use it for the pedal assist. So okay. you can do a longer ride because uh, it's, you know, at a faster pace. I got you. So you can do, like on that thing, you can do up to 40, 45 miles. Okay. Where like on a regular bike, especially a mountain bike, you're probably going to tap out at 15, 20. You know, ain't joking. On a, on a good day. Yeah. So that, man, you can break a, you can break a sweat. 15 miles. Oh, okay. It's a pedal assist. You can adjust like how much you can assist. Yeah, right, right. So you can do 
it's got four different levels of assist. So you can do like level one where you're doing most of the work. Yeah. It'll take you 40, 45 miles. Okay. Or you could do level four, which is like turbo, where the bike's kicking in a lot of power. You're just pedaling it, right? Right. It's, it's doing the majority of the work. And now it'll take you probably 15 miles. I guess. So, you still exercise. You know, yeah. As long as you're pedaling and the heart rate's pumping, right. you know, it's up. That's, that's what you're exercising. Exactly. But, so you, you do it longer, you can do it faster. Uh, you know, it gives people some assist. Like a lot of people just go out and ride, and then when they start to get tired, kind of windy. Right, right. Yeah, you can ride. Golly, you can do a 15 mile ride without the bike on and turn it on and do another 30 or 40. Okay. You can get as much or as little exercise. You can ride it just to throw <laughs> Just sit there. Yeah. You know, for 10 miles or so, and then it's going to die. And right. You got to pedal back. anyway, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. and it's like I say, you can get as much or as little exercise as you want. Gotcha. Gotcha. How much you want to do? I but guess. It's, it's, that's the picture there. Yeah, it's just. Everybody's going e bike. And All I, the bike brands. Yeah. It's a, you better get familiar with the electric bike stuff. That's where we're heading. Okay. But I'm just, I, I just like gadgets and stuff like, cause I remember, you know, I run the, uh, I used to run nitro remote control cars. It's mostly all electric. I had, I got me an electric truck now. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the way it's going. Yep. It's crazy. Where's your champion? Is it the house? Oh man. Yeah, is it? Uh, uh, 87 Caprice. Oh, nice. 87 Caprice. Yeah, I'll show you a picture of it. I got this is my truck too. You got a truck too? Yeah, 91 uh Silverado short bed. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hold on. We'll be right back, y'all. Uh, I ain't gonna bother y'all. I just wait on y'all to call me about the bike. No big deal, man. All right. All right. All right. Y'all take it easy. All right. Yeah, man. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Doing it thing, man. All about bikes. Nine on one six. I mean, nine on one seven six seven. 6240 man. That's the old address, the Mendenhall joint. They're actually off of Poplar right now, if I'm not mistaken. They, I don't know. They might still have a Mendenhall address because they, they, they new to this address. So I don't know. I need to ask them that. But just type in all about bikes, man. It's going to bring you to it. It's going to bring you to it. Don't go by the address on there. Yes, sir. 78 Chevy Boy. We headed to the house, man. All right. Get me here. Yeah. You can lift up that by your phone. Don't let that sell 25. Okay. And just the basic motor, just one just basic motor, 525. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then that's what you're doing. Yeah. They know it. Yeah. Uh -huh. They've been doing that for a while. Yeah. I enjoy doing this. Huh? I enjoy doing this. For real? <laughs> you got something to let it down? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it in the house. Yeah. All right. Y'all see it, man. You can't really see it. They can't really, you have to be right up on it. The one is not tinted, but they look like they're tinted because the way the glass. Yeah. The sun being on. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I was looking. I don't know, I guess they gonna have to get in there the best way they can to paint it. Only thing they can do uh -huh. is let it up and paint the top. Now, when they paint this door, tell them, make sure you don't let the paint seal in this here. Okay. Because if it's sealed, if you hit that button, it gonna crease it in the middle. We all had that happen. Yes, sir. Got my baby tucked away with the new garage, though. That's why I bagged it out, man. That's why I bagged it out for the new garage door. Yes, sir. Keep it locked, man. Keep it locked. So they just got to finish painting the edges. And we're going to be good. We're going to be in there, man. And I decided to keep the door white. New door came white. We had painted the old door black. But uh, I think we're going to keep it white. Boss lady like it white. So white it is. All right. Okay. I'm in my seven, 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 my seven,